Sierra uh, and the Visual Snow Initiative have been instrumental in encouraging seminal work that has validated Visual Snow Syndrome. Uh, nothing gets done unless somebody takes the initiative and organises it. Now, having um, known Sierra for uh, quite a few years now, uh, I've seen her capacity to organise and uh, uh, energise uh, people and groups uh, to direct their attention to visual snow. Um, without the Visual Snow Initiative and the philanthropic uh, uh, encouragement of people involved with them, none of this would have happened. Okay? Would Visual Snow have been recognised in the long run? Yes. But if you ask my opinion, it probably would have been another 25 to 50 years before it would have been understood. And that's going on the basis of the fact that the medical profession is incredibly conservative and research is directed at where the money is. Okay? If you're a researcher, you go where the money is. Now, the money is not always uh, directed in the right place. Uh, VSI and Sierra, as I said, have been instrumental in shining a light on visual snow. Uh, they've opened up an area of research and an area of treatment that would not have been otherwise uh, investigated for many years to come. I say it to most of my patients that come through and getting a more general audience is, uh, is great. Patients are very aware of the fact that they have a disorder and everything seems to be moving very slowly. The reality is that um, uh, research and treatment in uh, VSS is moving at relative light speed by comparison with almost any other disease. Um, Parkinson's disease was diagnosed in the 1800s uh, and we still don't have cures for it, we have treatments. Um, multiple sclerosis uh, was first published in the French literature as sclerosis en plaque uh, in the, uh, I think, early 1900s, okay? We have treatments, we don't have cures. We have uh, a lot of information about the physiology, the pathophysiology. Uh, we have codified it. We have improved recognition. We have a lot of people working in the area now, and we have potential therapies that might be available before 1930, 2030. Okay, now that's a 35-year uh, time course as opposed to uh, 150 years. So progress is always dependent on resources, always dependent on resources. But uh, there is an end in sight to having meaningful treatments for visual snow syndrome. And I think you need to take uh, um, heart uh, on that, but you also have to cut the researchers and the doctors a little bit of slack in that they are doing what they can do and as quickly as possible. The medical profession is so far up itself at the moment that uh, uh, they need to recognise that they don't know everything and they, they're not gods. Uh, and uh, that they've got to listen to people. They, uh, visual snow is the perfect example of that. I, I, I don't want to make it any more strongly than I did before, but it's a major issue. I mean, a, an example is us applying for research money. Okay? We have a National Health and Medical Research Council uh, that, 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 like the NIH. Okay? Now, we always get very, very high scores for the assessments, okay? Then it goes to the committee meeting. And I know that what happens at the committee, because I've been told, is that people say, there's no future in this, it's all rubbish. So the funding goes to the people that they know, you know, who are good guys, have been doing good research. So there's a natural bias. 
uh, it's more of an issue here than it might be in the United States because there's a larger group of uh, experts to, to uh, um, uh, use uh, to, to assess, the, uh, to, to sit on the committees and things. Um, and so you go to a specialised committee rather than a more general committee. But it's, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a very conservative profession. Well, I think the uh, medical profession has a lot to answer for because they're too ready to expect, uh, sorry, to accept that anything they don't understand is psychological and is in the mind and the mind is not part of the brain. Uh, I think it's time to, to wake up, be aware that there, there are patients that need to be listened to uh, carefully rather than just uh, categorised as uh, crazy or, or even indeed any, any entity. Uh, you have to listen to your patients, uh, you have to uh, know the literature and you have to be aware of how to manage these patients.